Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. The bottom of the deck, we have the nine of swords. Stress, fear, anxiety. Underneath that, though, you have the nine of pentacles. So you're stressed out about finances, career opportunities, but your stress is, is unnecessary, okay? Um, you want to make sure that your thoughts, especially any type of thoughts of, of fear, are not manifesting at this time. If you are holding on to any type of regret or guilt, this could be causing you like sleepless nights. You need to release that because actually you have wish fulfillment coming. New beginnings is here. There's a brand new offer. Wow. And the emperor. Two of wands, nine of wands. Ooh, four of wands, king of wands. Oh my gosh. Eight of swords and then the ten of pentacles. There is nothing for you to be worried about. <laughs> Your life is about to go so, so well. This is like the third reading today where I've got this extremely positive energy. And I'm using different decks in every single reading. The message is the same. Like, this emperor energy, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female, this emperor energy is about, and I mean, we are in Aries season here in the month of April. We did just have that eclipse last week. There are a lot of new beginnings here. Karma has come in to balance a lot of situations. So you have a lot of stability coming in. This is a time for you to really take charge, be very ambitious. You know, um, this is not the time for procrastination. A lot of people don't understand that procrastination is indeed a form of self-sabotage. Okay, don't allow yourself to be afraid of anything. Don't don't fear, you know, history repeating itself. Don't fear anything. You have a, an opportunity here. And whatever these opportunities are, these are all cards here of fire. It's like you need to go for this now. And it's it's directly connected to your, your pentacles. Here's the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. It says here, financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. A rich and rewarding family life. I like that. Wow. And the Eight of Swords is here. It's a mental entrapment, but if you look at this card here, it's like, this energy of Archangel Michael coming in to free you from whatever this mental entrapment is. Like, you have no reason anymore to be stressed. There's something here that you didn't see clearly before. Wow. The Knight of, of Pentacles, Ace of um, Wands. What? Somebody is working so hard. Whatever you are working on, this is like crazy money that's coming in for somebody. I've been picking this up all day. I mean, this this is wealth. I, I'm not gonna lie. This is there's some kind of offer, an opportunity. This is actual wealth coming in. Look at that. Four of Pentacles. You don't need to be resistant to change. And this is coming right underneath the Four of Wands. You could be seeing a lot of fours, 444. Four, four. Nine of Cups and then the Empress, King of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Empress, and here is Archangel Michael, King of Swords, falling under the eight. Yeah, so some of you literally have recently had like a, an encounter, possibly um, 
with like Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, or you somebody here has had some type of supernatural encounter and it has allowed you to break free from something that has unlocked a spiritual inheritance that is bringing in clarity, a lot of confirmations, but this is bringing in like the cards, a rich and rewarding family life, like wealth, stability, security, for sure, is what's coming in. It's time for you to decide how you want to grow and expand because it's here. Like help is here. Seven of Cups. The, the cards are just kind of telling their own story. Three of Wands here. Here's a Five of Pentacles. So you feeling left out in the cold, like you don't have enough, like you won't receive financial assistance or funding. Somebody here, maybe you're about to get approved for like a, a, a loan. This could be a home loan. For some of you, you could be the first like homeowner in your family. Looking at these cards though, here's 999. Somebody here literally could be getting approved for like a million dollar home. Seriously, 999. I'm just getting, yeah, 9999. Nine, nine. It's four nines out here. So somebody could be getting a check soon. Like $10,000, $100,000, a million dollars. You could turn like a, a $1,000 investment into $10,000. It's something here about multiple, something by four. So you could have like a $10,000 investment <laughs> or a $100 invest. Something here is just, it's going to grow exponentially. The Ace of Cups, Peace, Temperance. And then a tower. The universe brings this. This is divine intervention. There's a sudden revelation here that's going to allow you to break free out of all self-sabotage energy. If there's been any evil eye, any missed opportunities, like everything is coming back to you tenfold. And you literally have here, I just noticed, the emperor and the empress are here together. Eight of Swords. So you're able now to see the truth about your light and shadow side. You're also possibly able now to see your divine feminine or, or masculine. Okay, so something is occurring energetically or spiritually where you... It, for those of you, if you know you resonate with being in like a soulmate, twin flame connection, there was some type of disconnect, some type of mental imprisonment that you were in. To be honest, this could have been a result of, I don't know, bad habits, physical distance, spell work, anything. But you're like breaking out of this trap. And you can see something very clearly here. But look at how these cards look. You have an emperor here. Wow. You have, for some of you, you have, oh my goodness, this is powerful. When I just pick these cards up, they just like, yikes. I just got chills. You have an emperor here who has called on Archangel Michael to free their divine feminine. And Archangel Michael is coming in with the confirmation. Like I, I got, I got her out. I got him or her. I got him or her out. I can't talk. Mercury retrograde. I got him or her out. Somebody could stutter <laughs> because I can't talk seriously. But you can see this emperor is sitting there, and they're thinking about their stability, their security. They were, they took charge of a situation, and they wanted to ensure that you could see them clearly. Or this is you. And somebody literally called on Archangel Michael to free this divine feminine energy. Okay. Now, this doesn't have to be you and another person. This could be your own feminine and masculine energy. You could have been praying to the Most High God and to your angels to please let you see the truth 
about yourself, your life, and your future. And this is a confirmation that you've been freed. And your life is about to change. There's going to be peace. Okay. Here's the king of wands as well. There's been so much Sagittarius energy coming out lately. But this is right next to the um, New Beginnings card. Yeah, someone called on like divine judgment to ensure that, that something happened. And this is a confirmation that you your wish was, was granted. You Whatever you needed or wanted, you're receiving it. So if you've been struggling with procrastination, if there has been some kind of mental blockage that's being removed. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah, and it brings the Ten of Pentacles, peace. If this changes your life. For some of you, this is actually just a mindset shift or change that's happening. And, and for some, it's it's partnership, like an actual person. It could be both. I mean, it makes sense. A rich and rewarding family life. Six of cups. Yeah. It has something to do with a partnership. Could be someone from your past or someone from a past life. You and this person could have been... For some of you, you and a person may not have even been in a relationship in a past life. You could have been best friends, like guardians to each other in a past life. You know how some people... Some people really do have platonic relationships. But whatever this connection is... The men of you are, are embracing now, it's it's allowing you also to embrace your creativity and to heal your inner child. That's why this is so beautiful. There is for many of you a connection out here. Your connection with God, your connection with your angels has been you healing your inner child. That is leading you to connections with your people who are members of your actual soul family who are a part of your divine purpose. So you... Being in your purpose, connecting with these different people, it's aligning you with more purpose-filled opportunities, things that you really enjoy doing. Some of you may want to work with children, or some of you have already entered a contract with someone where the two of you, you're supposed to be creating a life together and children. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles is here. Strength. Dang. And the Ten of Cups. This is taking like great pride in your strength and ability to create the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. And this took a lot of hard work with the Strength card and the Eight of Pentacles. Like this is you and someone, whether separately or together, learning, craftsmanship, working burning the, the midnight oil, growing. But this is definitely, for some of you, it's you and another person. You stood beside one each other, beside each other. Why are my words like doing this? I was trying to say one another. It came out like one another, each other tied together. <laughs> Maybe that, that's a sign though. For some of you, you and another person, you are truly... I don't know, like some of you are mending a relationship or for some of you though, you're going into a union with a person. I, I will say a lot of you, most likely you know this person, but it may not have been a relationship because it could have been like a platonic relationship. Somebody out here, you could even, if you've been married to this person, y'all could be getting remarried. I'm picking that up. 
It's a lot of real, this energy is solid. Four of Swords. You're going to have a lot of, um, your life, you're going to have a lot of time to rest, to relax, to retreat, to vacation. You're manifesting this lifestyle of a lot of luxury and leisure. What did I just say? Ten of Wands. No more burdens. Your angels are coming around to assist you to lighten your load so that you can have joy while Ace of Pentacles, they want you to have this money, justice. Absolutely. Six of Wands. The card literally says, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Look at that Ten of Swords. The card says, your, the situa what does it say? A situation has ended and you are finally free. A situation of you feeling disappointed. See, when you're depressed and disappointed, what tends to happen is that's when you fall into all of this um, depression and procrastination. Your creativity and everything else is blocked. Your angels are moving you out of this energy. Six of Swords here. You can see now the light at the end of the tunnel. And now this is going to be sudden, like an immediate action. The world card here. Archangel Michael again. Some of y'all are working very closely with Archangel Michael. He made sure that you have this, ha this super happy ending. And everything is coming full circle. You're receiving like spiritual growth, healing, insight, awareness, partnerships. Wealth, abundance, like, like everything. My goodness. Um, I want to make this really quick because it's it's so so good, so straightforward. I'm not gonna drag it out like at all. <laughs> um, let's see. Truth be told. And here is time to go. No place like home. Truth be told. You know it's time for you to go home. Whatever home is for you. Home for some is a place. Home for some is a person. It's really beautiful. When you get to go home. To a person. When you and a person share a home and you feel like home to each other. I feel like a lot of you, that's what you're, it's time now for you to go on this journey. Yen, see? That's the vibe putting the energy. Receiving, nurturing yourself, nurturing your connections, enjoying the good life, enjoying luxury, soft life, enjoying peace. Finally. After being stressed and overwhelmed with the never-ending story, your angels are coming in to help you to mend, to heal, to grow. Yeah. Patience and security. You've been patiently waiting for this type of secure relationship, partnership, this secure um, feeling of love for self, as well as security in a relationship. You, you just have security. Your your connection with, with God, your connection with your angels, your spiritual team, your, your connection with your higher self, everything around you is becoming safe and secure. You're free. This is all about freedom. Yeah, and it's taking you now to devote, like you being devoted, but you being devoted to yourself, your own personal journey is what's allowing you now to manifest, wow, a soulmate, a soulmate. This person feels like ecstasy, or oh, that's how they feel, that you make them feel happily ever after at the bottom of the deck. 
whoever this masculine is for someone, a feminine here, because the yin card came out. You are so loved and adored by this person. I just want you to, you see how even if this card is, is like military, this person wants to protect you. This person rests in your feminine energy. And they, they bring something that allows you to feel very free because you get to be your true authentic self. This comes after a period of healing from some type of never ending cycle. Everything about this is peace. So that's what I'm saying. It's like for some of you, home is a it's feel it's a person to be devoted. This person just completely admires you and adores you. You can see like just the imagery on these cards. You have family and friends out here. Your family and friends may be annoyed by how much you and this person talk. Or, yeah, you and this person, when you go out around. <laughs> oh, this is getting cute. I don't even want to get out of the energy now. But you and this person, people may be annoyed when they see the two of you. Because you probably are very playful with this person. You're always on the phone. This is, for some of you, like, you're courting this person. Or you will be. People are going to be like, oh my goodness, here they come on. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay. First time. Wow. Is this your first love? Or this may be the first time you've experienced a, a relationship where there was reciprocity, pleasure, and romance. Ooh. Definitely some sexual energy. Um, but this, for many of you, is going to feel like the first time because you have a person that's truly going to honor honor you, honor your body. Um, I, I just feel that relationships and intimacy and everything, once you've come out of like karmic situations and you embrace that true, authentic love of self and you have that peace and you're not, you know... Wondering if you're being betrayed or deceived and just be, you're, whoever this is, they allow you to just be in your feminine energy. You're not worried. You're not stressed. There is no anxiety. You're not, on, you know, worried about anything. For some of you, wow. Okay. So for some of you, this is a friend. More than friends and friends with benefits. Okay. So don't tell me that your, your friends with benefits is your your counterpart. <laughs> Friends with benefits. The benefit is... <laughs> the benefit is this is like an actual divine counterpart connection that's leading to wealth and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> My goodness. This person adores you. You may not know it. It's, it's kind of interesting too because you know what I'm seeing right now? Um, like these cars all show um, pretty popular movies and TV shows. But you know what I'm seeing in my head right now? I don't know if some of you watch Grey's Anatomy. I'm not a TV watcher, but there are some shows that I have watched. It reminds me of... Link and Joe on Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> they were best friends forever, you know, and they went through family issues, medical school, relationships with other people, to being roommates and raising kids together that, you know, were not their kids, um, not kids that they had together, to them finally realizing, like, hey... <laughs> Do you not see that we're in love with each other? You know, it definitely reminds me of something like that. Like, this is a go-to person. It's a it's a relationship that's been rooted in friendship. It's a soulmate. A soulmate could be a friend, a family member, a lover, but this is a soulmate who is devoted. They're a life partner. Like, they're supposed to be here forever. Um... I don't like to say forever, but 
they're supposed to be in your life. And this may be someone that has been growing with you in different seasons of your life. You know, you guys have, you know, maybe had the strictly friends or maybe it's been friends with benefits. Maybe it turns into, you know, a courtship. This may be, lead to marriage, family, you know, or maybe it's biz just business, whatever though. It's, this is someone, no, it's just more than business. Though. For a lot of you, it's more than business. Divine masculine? Divine masculine is manifesting a family and children and loves you unconditionally, as I said. What does it say? Divine masculine has unconditional love and wants a family and children with you. Wants to be devoted. Okay, divine masculine. Come on, airy season. This eclipse is just come in and gotten rid of all of the illusions and karmics. Oh, union together. I'm done. <laughs> Manifesting unconditional love and a union together. Divine masculine. Y'all see the cards. Wow. Right? This person is like, where are you going? If y'all have an argument or anything, like, where are you going? You and this person, this, you know, I don't have to be, I have to be honest. This person, this does not feel like a past person that you've had struggles with. However, it, it does feel like a person, a soulmate that you have past life karma with, okay? Here, when I say karma, and, and this is what some people don't realize this. Twin flame soulmates, everyone, some people in contracts, you have karma. You and this person could have possibly had disagreements or separations because of past life karma. Like, you needing to heal from situations with lovers, family members, um, going through different things to discover your life purpose or whatever the case is. I feel like now that you kind of crossed the burning sands on your individual journeys, it's like now you have this telepathy, this affection, wish fulfillment is coming in. Now this person, they're able to see you. They want to wine and dine you. This is something that's is turning into a romance. Um, yeah, because someone has clarity now. Now that some type of secret is out, someone has clarity. There's a collective of divine masculines who are 100% awakening. And they are shifting into this higher level of consciousness where they are super ready to go towards these feminines. This is not someone who has used you and abused you, but this is definitely for some of you, a person that has been in your life for a while. And you've possibly been confused on how to move forward with this person. Because you both have been learning lessons. A lot of lessons here in growth about accountability, you know, dealing with family and friends. You could have possibly had family and friends attacking this connection. And that's the reason why Archangel Michael had to step, step in to bring you a lot of clarity. This was a connection that has been completely blocked by nothing but illusions and confusion but you were forced to make it through this web of lies and confusion as a way for you to learn about discernment and it's like now you you're at the end the light at the end of the tunnel you're at the end you you're, you get to pass go and collect your 200 bucks like this is your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow wow beautiful 
beautiful. There's another deck I have sitting over here. It's the Chariot and Six of Pentacles. So you're moving into a, an, um, a connection that's going to be equal give and take. This person will be very generous. Whoever this feminine is, you're going to be so adored by this person. I just want you to know that this person loves you like unconditionally. But there have been lessons to learn. But it was also a lesson to learn in recognizing unconditional love. Recognizing that a person can love you and you don't have to give them anything. You don't have to let them. You Love doesn't have to hurt. And I'm telling you, if you try to leave this person, they're not having it. <laughs> Whatever disagreement you and this person ever have, you, you will quickly work it out. This doesn't even really seem like the type of connection where two people argue. I mean, everyone has disagreements, but this is such a healthy, peaceful, beautiful connection that's le leading to a very rich and rewarding family life. This is you not just getting a great person um but this is you getting a great person and together you have a great partnership and a great business like you make money you have kids or you have a, a blended family and there's no drama um you know this white picket fence and remember i said too like somebody somebody literally could be getting like a million dollar home Cause I kept seeing um, nine, 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 nine. Like somebody here literally will have a, I mean, nice home, everything. You're creating a home with a person that feels like home. Wow. Creating a home with a person who feels like home. It doesn't get any better than that because after everything you had to go through, you didn't have to choose one or the other. You get it all. You didn't have to choose a great person, you know, a great person in, in, in poverty or, you know, a really sucky person who lies and cheats, but they make great money. You get someone who is devoted that brings respect, security, stability. They make you feel free. A feminine gets to rest in their feminine energy when they have a divine masculine who is so devoted to them and offers them the type of security and patience that allows them to feel free to be their true authentic self and that's what this this is what you man you manifest in unconditional love with the divine masculine who wants union this could be someone right now that you're getting to know It's going to turn out to be beautiful. You deserve this. You waited on this. You manifested this. You went through hell to get this. You went through hell to get this little piece of heaven on earth for yourself. So you deserve it. <laughs> 